But we start with a story that sums up the ultimate talent show dream. The story of how one three-minute audition turned a church choir singer into a global superstar. I still get a buzz when somebody brilliant comes in and, they, and they're not really aware of it. Um, th those are the moments you really do do the auditions for. And it normally comes from nowhere. There's been a long, horrible day in Glasgow. Terrible acts, audience getting on their backs, and it was a really bad atmosphere. Uh... Do you normally drop it? Yeah. <laughs> But what the judges didn't know was that backstage was a woman who was about to make this a day to remember. Susan was an unemployed, middle-aged spinster from Blackburn in Scotland. She lived on her own, she had a little council house, but she had a big dream. Susan Boyle was a regular performer in local pubs, but always aspired to greater things. I wanted to be a, a professional singer for many years, for 23 years. So I auditioned for uh, Barrymore. I originally applied for X Factor, and I got as far as the preliminaries there. So I thought, I like Simon Cole. We'll see him in another context. So I decided to apply for the, the programme Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> when she sort of sashayed out onto that stage, you didn't expect anything from her. And I remember thinking, oh, what is she wearing? You know, awful, bitchy kind of things that are excruciatingly embarrassing to admit. How old are you, Susan? I am 47. On the shuffle, Susan, and I'm like, oh, God, she's either a singer or a comedian. I'm not in the mood for this. And she started behaving in a rather odd way. And it all seemed vaguely crackers. And that's just one side of me. I said, well, enjoy yourself and be blooming cheeky about it and see, see what the outcome is. So we just decided to play a bit of it and have some fun. What are you going to sing tonight? I'm going to sing I Dreamed a Dream from the Miserables. OK. Big song. <laughs> ah, big, big song. As if to say, you have no hope of singing that song in anything but an appalling manner. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. I turned to Simon and the man, and we all just went, what? Yeah, you just didn't expect that, did you? Did you? No. It was just, it was amazing. I just remember feeling so embarrassed that I judged her and I hated myself for being shallow. As That's the moment you live for. It's that moment of surprise, and you feel it behind you with the audience when you've got someone special. Let's be honest, nobody knew the outcome. It was completely unrehearsed. In fact, I thought I would be buzzed the minute they saw me swallowing my hips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd be good enough to get through and get as far as I've gone. Our life has killed the dream. I dream. When she finished, the whole place just erupted. I mean, it was... It was an incredible thing, which I've never seen before or since. Susan Boyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high. It's three S's. I thought, oh, my God, what have I done? <laughs> Watched by an audience of 10 million viewers, overnight, Susan Boyle had become a household name. But no one could predict what would happen next. The sort of new modern media turned her into a global superstar. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. It happened so rapidly and it went global so quickly. It's a very human story that crosses boundaries and continents and countries. Everybody understands that story. Susan's audition became the world's most watched internet clip in 2009. 
was like a giant whirlwind at first. You didn't really know where you were or what was going to happen next. It was really exciting. Susan Boyle is now appearing in newspaper headlines around the world. Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle. The voice and the life story of Susan Boyle. When the satellite appeared on my doorstep for American television, I thought, oh my God, I haven't even paid my license. I'm not letting these ones in, no way. So I said, dismantle my aerial. <laughs> That's that's a, that's a green I was at the time. Understandably, TV's newest star found the level of media attention hard to cope with. The papers were non-stop writing about her and she's having an emotional breakdown. Is it too much for Susan? Should she have been allowed on the show? It was a very, very intense week. It's very surreal. It's as if, it's as if you're in a kind of goldfish bowl of your own, you know, with people looking in. It can be quite terrifying. And every day the story was that she was cracking under pressure. I mean, it was, it was bad. So I got her in to see me into my dressing room. And I said, look, to be honest with you, Susan, I think you've got a great career ahead of you, whether you go into the finals or not. You can walk away, and nobody's going to think that you're a quitter. And, uh, and she said, no, I want to do it. She said, I wouldn't forgive myself if I, if I didn't have the chance. Under enormous pressure, Susan performed in the final in front of 18 million viewers. But there was another surprise in store for the bookie's favourite. The winner of Britain's Got Talent 2009 is... It was Dex's turn to see the winner, and down your ear here, it's diversity. What? what? It's diversity. Diversity! Uh, that, was, that was a very big shock at that final. You couldn't believe that she hadn't won. It was one of the most dramatic moments of television ever, I think. What a fantastic competitor. Susan, how, how do you feel right now? Are these people won? Losing was a difficult thing for her to deal with. She'd sort of been told by everybody, you're going to walk, this is going to be easy. And then she came second. And I think she found that a really big blow. Susan Boyle's been admitted to a clinic suffering from exhaustion. Psychologists, relatives and even Gordon Brown have been discussing the well-being of Susan Boyle today. She was just terribly worried that, you know, she'd had this incredible weeks of global attention and that it was all going to disappear overnight and come to an end. <laughs> But as it turned out, Susan Boyle's dream wasn't over. Nice to see you. She was in high demand across the globe. Could you speak some Chinese? So later. Oh! And released the fastest selling album of 2009. Nobody knew how things were going to go three years ago. I certainly didn't imagine that things would take off so well. I'm excited. I look forward to doing more albums in the future, if they'll let me and I uh, look forward to entertaining people for many years to come. The Susan Boyle story absolutely epitomises what talent shows are all about. Somebody who lived a dream, never got a chance to realise it, and then gets her chance and takes it.